I greet you in this blessed month of Ramadan with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and with the greeting of uh, Ramadan Kareem. Uh, it was today the third day of the month of Ramadan here in Britain. But for you in different parts of the world, of course, it will be different because Allah has given us this system of time which is in which the moon is centrally located. And uh, we thank Allah who made it possible for me to be here in Britain uh, for Ramadan. It was my intention to spend Ramadan in Jambar in, uh, in Indonesia, but unfortunately the Indonesian government have the requirement of a vaccine to enter Indonesia and I have never taken the vaccine and inshallah I will not do so so I had to cancel Indonesia but I had a, a visitor uh, because of whom this video is now entitled Calling Bosnia uh, he was Bosnian and he was a, an Orthodox Christian from Bosnia and he flew from Zagreb all the way to London to meet with me. So I invited him, I said, we, I'm, I'm fasting, so I prefer to meet with you after we break the fast. So I, enjoy, I invited him to have dinner with me and we went to a Turkish restaurant and he surprised me. He said, Sheikh, because you were fasting, I decided that I, I would also fast. And uh, <coughs> I had dinner with him last night and also the night before and we were able to have an exchange of views and uh, he said to me that uh, uh, although he is Christian and he has chosen to remain a Christian yes that he believes that the Quran is the word of the one God and of course that it, once you believe that the Quran is the word of the one God you will also automatically believe that Muhammad Allah's blessing be upon him is his prophet. So he said, I believe in this. Uh, but I chose to remain a Christian and he was very happy when he learned from me that you can believe in the Quran as the word of God and believe in Muhammad as a messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam, and yet choose to follow Jesus, alayhi salam. And uh, I said, yes, of course you have that choice. You can either choose to follow Jesus if you want to and if you want you can also follow Muhammad Allah's blessings be upon them because it is the same deen or religion and uh, during our discussions last night and night before I found that he showed an immense amount of interest in Surah al Kaf of the Quran the Surah of the Cave and he started giving me his Christian view, for example, about the fish. Does the Christian has a special view concerning the fish in Surah al Kaf, uh, concerning um, uh, Khidr alayhi salam? And uh, I listened to him without making any comment. And then I advised him to make contact with my dear uh, brother, the Orthodox Christian scholar of the Gospel, uh, Mika. Jaminovich who lives in France and uh, let him ex assess his views on the subject of Surat al Kafa Christian view and when he has a mature view to then write it down and send it to me and alhamdulillah he's agreed to do that. I wanted to share this video with you to show you how a Christian can have so much respect for me and for the religion of Islam and recognize that we have the same religion. A Christian can believe in the Quran as the word of God and believe in Muhammad Allah's blessing be upon him as his prophet and yet choose to follow Jesus. Of course, the schoolboys don't know that. The schoolboys perhaps will never know that. They gotta go back to school with the nonsense that they have. Excuse my language because it's just nonsense. Uh, the followers of Jesus can remain his followers until the end of the world. That is what Allah says in the Quran. 
he says that they will be a people who will continue to follow Jesus and continue to receive Allah's help and be supported by Allah to become powerful. And they will remain in that position of power and dominance until Qiyamah. That is in the Quran, but the schoolboy doesn't know that. He does not recognize absolute truth in the Quran. We also had a chance to talk about Muslim Christian relations in Bosnia and to recognize that unfortunately so the Bosnian Muslims have been trapped by NATO and it appears there is no way out for them. Not only have they been trapped by NATO and Allah has prohibited in the Quran friendly relations and alliances with a Christian Muslim alliance which is what NATO represents but the, Christ the Muslims in Bosnia apparently have lost the Quran as absolute truth. The absolute truth lo located in the Ottoman Empire, absolute truth located elsewhere in Turkish nationalism, but absolute truth no longer, no longer resides in the Quran, not for the Bosnian Muslims who are consistently hostile to any rapprochement, any friendship and alliance between Christians and Muslims in the Balkans. So he and I sat down and we, we felt sadness in our hearts for this pathetic situation of the Muslims in Bosnia. But I told him, I told him that what is the truth, the truth must prevail. And so you must bear, in, bear with patience the present predicament. I thank you, uh, I thank him for having come to visit me I thank you for having listened to this little episode in my life of this visit from Bosnia. And we pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may send many, many more Christians who are sincere followers of Jesus rather than the Santa Claus. And that these Christians also would one day believe that the Quran is the word of God. And that Muhammad, Allah's blessing be upon him, is his messenger. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.